Hi, I'm TJ, and in this video, I'll be giving you insight into what the technical interview process is like for anyone that's never done one before. But first, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video just to help me continue making content like this for you. When it comes to job searching as a software engineer or developer, there are typically five steps that happen in the, in the interview process whenever a company is interested in you. The first step is a 15 to 30 minute phone screen with either the recruiter or somebody from HR. The goal of this phone screen is to give you a quick overview of the company and the role and to also get a quick overview of your background to see if you are a good fit for what they are looking for and to then see if you are interested in continuing to move forward in the interview process now that you've learned more about the company and the role. So if you are interested in moving forward then comes step number two, which is typically an hour long phone call or video call with the hiring manager or just somebody on the engineering team. This part of the interview process is to now take a deeper dive into your technical skills and background to see if your skills matches up with what they are looking for, especially now that you are talking to someone that is more technically sound than the recruiter will typically be. It's very important that you are able, able to speak clearly and technically about the things that you've worked on and to also show interest in various tools and technologies that you might not really know about, but they use. So always show interest in things that you're not familiar with, especially in the interview process, because most teams are always looking for engineers that are always looking to learn and to get better and to improve. So. If you not make it past round two, step three is typically a coding project or a code challenge or a pair programming exercise with somebody on the engineering team. If this part of the interview is a pair programming exercise for you, then that will typically be about an hour long. If it's a coding project, they'll typically give you about three to six hours to work on it or a few days depending on your schedule. So this part of the interview process typically varies depending on the company. So I like to typically ask about the company's interview process in my initial phone screen with the recruiter just to help me get a really clear picture of how things will be moving forward. Now, if you did well in step three, which is the project, you will now move on to step four, which is typically a behavioral interview. If you did a pair programming exercise in step three, then step four would definitely be a behavioral interview with the team. Or if you're lucky, this would not be the part where they extend an offer to you. But if you did a coding project in step three, then step four will typically be another hour long interview. And the first 30 minutes will be a technical review of the project that you worked on with somebody from the engineering team. And then the last 30 minutes will typically be a behavioral interview with somebody else on the engineering team or just or just the team overall. Now, if you make it past step four, that means that the company is interested in making a job offer to you, which is now the final step of the process, the job offer. I'll be making another video explaining how I like to negotiate job offers. But for now, just keep three numbers in mind. The first number is the salary that you are going to ask for. The second number is your counter in case they are not able to meet that salary. And the third number is the lowest that you'll take to accept that role. Having those three numbers in mind will make the negotiation process a lot easier for you and just tend to make things go a bit smoother instead of being nerve wracking because you have to think on the spot when it comes to that. And that's it. When you and the company settle on a number, that is when they will now send you an official offer letter for you to sign. And everything after that is typically the same in terms of, you know, you guys now picking a start date, uh, talking about onboarding, etc. So make sure that you comment below if you have any questions about the process, about negotiations. Let me know what you're, what you're going through and I'll do my best to help you out.